Time now for a look at your health. If you haven't noticed, lots of people are getting sick from the flu again, and there are new vaccines available this year to tell you about. And joining us to do just that is Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD. Thank you for joining us. Good to be here. So this is serious. Okay, you said there was a record number of people who passed away from this last year. It really was. In 2009, 2010, there were 58 deaths in San Diego County, and last year there were 24 deaths. So getting the flu is not a good idea. In the United States, it was 30,000 people that died from the flu. So that's why you see this incredible publicity mm -hmm. behind almost everyone is giving flu shots, from practically your supermarkets to all your pharmacies to all your doctors, and then the key key thing is, for the first time, we actually surveyed physicians, mm -hmm. and 95% of all physicians are finally getting the flu vaccine. So it is just very important to get the vaccine. And you said there's a lot of options. So if you're afraid of needles, or you have a child, or you're older, whatever the case may be, you said there's something for everyone. Right. And then, you know, I got the flu vaccine last week with the traditional way, because I'm a macho guy, but they have, <laughs> they have really teeny small needles now that you hardly feel. And then if you don't want a needle at all, you can actually do a nasal nasal spray. And then for people over 65, you usually need a little bit of a stronger vaccine. So they even have a stronger vaccine to give out. And there's a lot of, I don't know if this is one of those medical myths, but concerns surrounding the flu vaccine in pregnant women. Can they get it? Absolutely. In fact, pregnant women have a much harder time with the flu. So pregnant women and children are the ones that really should be getting it. Basically, everyone above six months of age. All right, so tell me more about the common cold and how to prevent it, because we were talking about this during the break. There's some things you can do just to try and stay healthy that well, are really simple. Especially if you're going to the Charger game or if you're going to public <laughs> places, you want to watch uh, touching a lot of things that like uh, handrails that other people touch. But washing your hands is the number one best idea in the world. If someone is, if you want to cough or sneeze, you don't sneeze in your hands and then shake one's hand, you sneeze in your, in your arm. But, you know, keeping things things clean and in my office in many business offices we actually have a special housekeeper go around once an hour to all the doorknobs wiping them off with disinfectants because you want to prevent the human to human transmission of the flu virus yeah I'm actually our maid at our house so I actually was thinking that was a great idea even to Absolutely. do at home even though it's not a public place well you can always go to our scene on button on fox and get all of this information and go back over it all the great tips that dr. Goldman had for us today about the flu vaccine and your options, so be sure to do so. Thank you for being here. Good to see her, and I, I did wash my hands. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Lauren, over yeah. to you. Uh, but yeah, I still think Purell is probably a good idea right now, you too. <laughs>